Hey guys, welcome to my 6C programming tutorial. I'm Rascal999 and I'm going to be going through the for loop today. Uh, I'm not going to be saying what every line of code does in this tutorial, so I'm going to assume you know what they do. Uh, if you don't, then I suggest you um, head over to my other tutorials and check it out. Um, you'll have a basic understanding and you'll be able to get this tutorial. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get going. Um, the reason I'm including the uh, <coughs> standard I.O. library is because I want access to the uh, printf statement so I can uh, show you guys what's going on. Um, I'm declaring the integer i because that is the integer we're going to be manipulating in this uh, for loop. And before I um, when I finish this I'll tell you what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Right, all I've got here the uh, main function return type of an integer. Um, I've declared uh, i so I can manipulate it in the for loop. And the first section of the, uh, the first part of the for loop basically states that we want i to be equal to zero. So we want to put, we want i to be zero. That's basically that. <coughs> the second part tests to see whether um, i is less than five in this situation. And uh, the last part increments i by one. Okay, so if we save and run that, uh, run. As you can see, I uh, in the first iteration of this for loop, i is zero. In the second iteration, i is one. The third is two. Uh, the fourth is three, and the fifth is four. Um, the reason i doesn't equal five is because uh, once i equals five. This uh, st this part of the for loop is no longer true. Um, so if we have uh, i equal to or less uh, i less than or equal to five, that will uh, work, and five will be the last iteration. Um, so there we have it. That's six iterations of the for loop, and um, this this can be this isn't the only this is a very um, uh, simple approach to the for loop. You can be a lot more manipulative with it. Um, let's say i equals zero, <coughs> and i is greater than or equal to minus five, for example. If we do that, and we actually, if we do that and keep that to i plus plus, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, we'll run it, and there we go. What's happening here? Um, because i will never equal minus five. Um, the loop keeps the for loop keeps iterating. Um, at the moment, well, when I terminated it, it was on uh, around 88,000, 89,000. Um, so in order to fix that, we want i to decrement, not increment. So if we do that, for example, that works. The reason being uh, is because i is going down instead of up. It's um, numbers being one is being taken away from i on each iteration instead of being added on. <coughs> um, if we wanted to keep the increment, what we can do is start i at minus 10 and uh, run that. Oh, what's wrong with that? i equals minus 10. i is greater than or equal to minus 5. Okay, what's happening here? Um, i is already less than minus 5. Um, basically, this statement is um, false. Um, yeah, this statement is false, so the printf will never run. So we need this to keep this to 0 and make this minus. And that works. Okay, if we did. Okay. <sighs> Let's make this minus 10 again. If we did um, i is uh, less than or equal to minus 5, that will work because minus 10 is less than minus 5. <coughs> that works, but we need to make this uh, post uh, increment. And that works, okay. I'm glad I got that fixed. Um, so we have i equals minus 10. i is less than or equal to minus 5. That is true. So 
we want to increment i by 1 and in doing so we can get that okay um, that's all I'm going to talk about in this tutorial uh, my next tutorial is uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to focus on I might look at functions um, I'm Rascal999 my website is at rascal999.co.uk and the source code for all my tutorials is available on my forum which is linked uh, in the description hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have and uh, maybe you'll see me or I'll see you sometime maybe not <laughs>